Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Gadget Reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Windows recognize your new hard drive or your new SSD drive. Maybe you'll be doing a new computer build, PC build, and uh, you put two SSDs in there and you're not recognizing one of them. So I'm going to show you this in this video. Um, basically, first of all, let's go to um, File Manager. Uh, go onto this PC. And you can see um, there's only C drive that's visible and my other SSD drive is not visible guys. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to make Windows recognize our additional um, SSD drive guys. So what you do uh, in the search bar at the bottom, type in partitions and you can see straight away at the top, click on that. And then you can see um, it's basically um, it's, a, it's, it's noticed that um, there is another hard drive there, but it's not kind of configured it, guys. So um, it's the one with the black stripe. So uh, right click and then just click on that. Uh, it's like a wizard, a uh, new simple volume wizard, guys. So this is what's going to make uh, Windows kind of uh, recognize it, configure it. So uh, when you get to this page, uh, I will just leave that as it is guys, don't mess around with those figures because they're supposed to be the same. So that's supposed to be the same as that, whatever's in there, so uh, make sure they are the same and just leave that. Click next and then choose uh, obviously what, what you want to call this uh, drive, so I'm just going to call it S. Uh, you can call it whatever you want really, you can call it D drive or E drive. Um, but I'm going to call it S because it's SSD. So now we're just going to go and uh, click next. And here guys where it says volume uh, you can just change that name. You can name your hard drive whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to call it a 250 gigabyte. I think this one is. Um, I can't remember but it's around about 250 gig. Um, but anyway, let's just call it 250, it could be 240, but I can't remember right now. And I'm also going to call it SSD as well. And at the top, guys, um, leave it as NTFS. Uh, don't change it, just leave it as NTFS, whatever it says. And make sure you check that box, uh, just to quick format the drive. I think we're done here, let's click Next. And um, just, just give you a description of what, what changes we've made. Or what configuration we made uh, we can just leave that click next and there you go guys windows now recognizes your second drive and you got to pop up down the bottom right corner let you know that windows has recognized that and it's created that configuration for that drive so this is how you do it guys so um I know there's a lot of people out there thinking, oh, they didn't they build a PC properly and stuff. It's not that. It's just to go configure stuff. So let me just show you. Let's just go back to this PC. And now you can see it's recognizing the second drive in my PC, guys. So there it is. So that's how you do it. It's quite simple. Um, pretty easy. So if this video was helpful to you, please let me know by dropping a like on it. And also comment below if you have any issues. I don't think you have any issues if you follow my tutorial. And also if you're new to my channel, please subscribe as I've got more uh, videos coming out on a PC build. I'm doing I'm doing a Ryzen PC build. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that. I'm going to drop some tutorial videos and um, some PC building videos as well. So um, if you made it this far into the video, make sure also you browse my YouTube channel. There's some cool content on there, some cool videos that might be interested to you. So um, until next time guys, peace out.